hi everyone um, I'm super excited to share this with everybody um, I've just got off a, a call with uh, with a coach um, who's been taking me through a, uh, a brand incubator um, process so this is the Digital Experts Academy Platinum uh, brand incubator where uh, I, I went to Toronto and I spent three days there um, really starting to learn about <clears throat> um, what my core values are and hopefully to come out with you know a life's purpose and I'm happy to say uh, I've had a couple of coaching calls uh, over this past week or so and um, basically just gone through all of my uh, my life really up until now um, the high points, the low points, really trying to pick apart, um, you know, what my real purpose is, what my core values are, and uh, we've come up with a, with a, um, a, a purpose, a life's purpose statement for which I'm going to step into and, uh, and live my life from. So uh, this isn't ingrained uh, in my soul yet, so I've got it written down here, so I'm going to be looking down here, um, I've written it out on a piece of paper, I'm going to read it all out to you. So. Hi, my name is Rob and my purpose in life is to be a guiding light to a space where others feel safe and understood so that they find peace and balance through their life's changes. Now, to you this might just seem like a, a bunch of words on a paper but each word means something to me from uh, throughout my life throughout the discussions I had with Fiona my coach and I wanted to describe to you um, or discuss with you a little bit a little bit deeper here into what these words mean what they mean to me and why this is my my life's purpose so if we look at just the first sentence so to be a guiding light you know, this really comes from um, my recent um, and ongoing spiritual awakening. You know, I'm 44 now. When I was in my late teens, early 20s, I was an extremely spiritual person. You know, I spent quite a lot of time in India. I was meditating in caves and all sorts of shit. Um, and also, at that time, I was experimenting a lot with psychedelic drugs like LSD and mushrooms and DMT and things like this. I was having non-dual experiences. I was really connecting to and having an understanding of something far greater than me. Um, but then I took all of that drug use a little bit too far and uh, I became very ill uh, in, in the mid nineties, about 95. And that's where a relationship with alcohol started for me. Um, I was having all of these kind of experiences, even without the use of those substances, I started to have what I now see as some non-dual experiences, um, some ego death, um, and that was fucking scary. My ego fought back and I developed a super ego. I become very, very ill for 20 years, you know, with anxiety, with depression, with alcoholism, uh, until I managed to finally kick that about 18 months ago. But so that guiding line is really all about um, my, my spiritual development and my spiritual progression. Um, and that comes across in a lot of the language that I use at the moment. The next bit is so to be a guiding light to a space. Um, notice that it's not the space because it's not a defined thing. A space, we talked about space on my call. Space to me can be different things. It can be a physical wide open space, which I enjoy. I like nature and I need to be away in that sometimes but also that space to find mentally, you know, with our, inside yourself. So it was very important that we had our space, but also me being an introvert, even though I'm quite outgoing, as, as people will see, I am an introvert and I do need that space and that time on my own. And I do recognize that in others as well. So that's why that's in there. So to be a guiding light to a space where others feel safe <clears throat> and understood. So one conversation that came up within um, within this dis within the discussions with with the coach was um, she asked me a question about love. 
you know what what does love mean to you what is it and it's quite a difficult um, question to answer you don't get asked that a lot do you but um, for me the first thing that just came up for me was safety you know I feel safe and I have to say as well you know when that word love come up I, I did say you know when I close my eyes the face that I see isn't my wife it's my mother you know um, and I see you know me a way of giving love to me and my family it's about safety and providing safety so <clears throat> that feeling safe that's something that I that I value and that I need um, but that's you know that, that word also means love to me as well and here's an interesting one so feel safe and understood so something that came up a lot and uh, you know I, I know it's big for me is, is learning learning and discovering this is something uh, that's huge for me and uh, understood this is quite a big word on here this actually has connotations from the past the present and the future so you know when I was very young when I was about seven I remember my granddad who was a self-taught um, guy who you know he spoke five languages he uh, he he once told me and I remember it distinctly you can do anything that you want to do if you learn and put in the work and so came a lifelong obsession of trying to be the best at everything including taking drugs um, and um, <clears throat> but I've, all, I've always just wanted to learn and been inquisitive about everything so does you know that learning does does some of my grandfather in that word that understood um, a big thing for me at the moment is the things that I am learning at the moment in the present and I have to say, there's some of Guy and Elan in that word understood for me. Absolutely, at this moment, because you're the people that I'm really, really, really listening to. Um, and then taking that forward into the future, you know, that understanding, that learning, I want to help other people and teach people. So that word understood is huge for me, and that's why it's in my statement. Can you see why this isn't just a, a statement, this, this process, this... Uh, this brand incubator process isn't just about getting some words on paper. This is has real, real meaning and substance to it. And so the last part, you know, so to be a guiding light um, to a space where others feel safe and understood, um, so that they find peace and balance. Do I have that? Not yet. But this is really what I'm searching for. This is why it's in the statement. I crave peace and balance. Balance for me is one of the most difficult things in my life. Hey, I'm an addict, right? <laughs> balance is very, very difficult for me, but it's something that I want and it's something that I strive and it's something that I see that people want. I want it for them as much as I want it for me. And from that, really, I just think when you're in that balance, I think peace comes there. Yeah. So that's very important to me. And then the last bit even has meaning, you know, so they find peace and balance through their life's changes. Now, one question that my coach, Fiona, asked me was, should we change that last word, change to life's journey, not life's changes? And I thought about that and I thought, you know what? No. Let's keep it as it is because journey, that's the whole thing. That's my whole life. I haven't even been on the journey yet, right? I'm still on the journey. Um, I want to keep it as, you know, helping people out through their life's changes because change is happening now, you know, and now and now because this is all we've got, you know. I want to help people when they have that shift or maybe they want that shift how can I guide them through that how can I help them through that that change that now that present it's nothing to do with the journey is the whole thing I want to help people when they're going through those changes through those shifts and help to push people through them so I don't know how long that took what we're on about 10 minutes or something um, this is my life's purpose and I'm now going to step into it and I'm gonna ask everybody to hold me accountable to this. And if I step out of line with it, to call me out. So I'll read it through once again. My name is Rob, and my purpose in life is to be a guiding light to a space where others feel safe and understood so that they find peace and balance. <clears throat> 
through their life's changes. Okay, thanks for listening. See you all later. Bye bye. Thank you.